Well, we have uh, next to you, Anna, we have Charmaine. Hi, again. And uh, Charmaine, <laughs> you were just uh, talking to me uh, a while ago, and you were just telling us that uh, you haven't always been a Christian. No. And you became a Christian. At 23. Yep. Yes, and you suffered a mild depression. You didn't know what was... At that time, um, I was studying nursing. Um, I hadn't been a Christian for very long. Uh, I just remember one day uh, driving home and some thoughts came to my mind. I was thinking on life in the universe and these things um, about my future. And I was thinking, what does my future hold? Um, I'd made some poor choices in my teenage years and I'd experienced um, some negative things. And I just uh, thought, what is in my future? And I started to feel scared about it and, and uncertain and very afraid about what my future um, might bring me. What's, what's ahead for me, you know? Um, it's an uncertain life and like you say, anything can happen. Um, you can have someone die, your parents get divorced. These things are not pleasant. So um, I just remember coming home and I, I walked into my bedroom and I picked up my guitar and you know, um, the words and the music to the song just came to me and the song I wrote is called I Know the Plans I Have for You and I really believe that God gave me that song to encourage me because that song is full of uh, promises that God has made for every single human being. I know the plans I have for you, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, yeah. to give you a hope and a future, you know, and He really does and um, I'd like to share that song with you as well. Thank you very much, yeah. Charmaine Cook. Plans I have for you. I know the plans I have for you, plans to prosper you and not to harm you. for the future so look up above the earth I sit enthroned I am your God never give up I cannot lie on the cross I prove my love for you you are my child not seen nor has ear heard the wondrous things I have prepared for you so do not fear I won't forget you I've graven you on the palms of my Overcome. 